Hi, in this video we're going to be going over the new Windows 11 Media Player app, not to be confused with Windows Media Player, which you're used to seeing in Windows 10, which we've been using for many, many years. So this is a, uh, a new version of it, I guess you could say, that's going to be with uh, Windows 11. Um, right now it's not really out. If you're doing the Insider program with the dev builds, you might have it. So on this uh, computer here, I was able to kind of do a little tweaking and get it installed so I could show it to you. So it still says it's in a preview mode, but at least, you know, give you an idea of what it's going to look like once it's uh, out there for good. So once I have it installed, it's got to open it like any other app. Scroll down to M for media player. Okay, so you can see I have some recently opened files here. And what I've noticed so far is you can't get rid of your recently opened files. Let's make this back to full screen here. So right-clicking on them just lets you play them or add them to a playlist or to a queue. Or you can look at the properties, that type of stuff, which is kind of cool. You know, see the album name and how the bit rate it was recorded at, if it's an MP3 in the year it came out and so on. All right, so on the left here we have the search box. So obviously you could search your files in the home, which is this. And we have an open files section here. So you can pick a a file, open a folder, and play everything in that folder, or a URL. So if you have like a streaming um, audio clip online, you could just paste in the URL and play it using Media Player instead of your web browser, which is kind of cool. And then you have the music library, and so it takes that from your folders, you know, here, so you could actually add stuff to it if you want, if you want to add a folder besides the default music folder. So if I go to my music folder, I have these three albums here, and then you could sort by, you know, A to Z for song name or artist, which puts it all right here, artist first, and then the next artist alphabetically, album, I'll put the album here, and then so on, and then finally, release year. This is assuming it has all this information, if it gets it from your music and genre, if you want to change that too. I'm not sure how it determines what genre it is. So then you could play it from here, you could shuffle and play, you could, you could view the album list if you want to do that. Now you notice here this one here doesn't have a picture because there's no image file in it like the other ones do. So we have the album art files in this, but we don't have the album art, art in here, so it's not going to show that. And then if you want to sort by albums too, you could do that if it has the information. And then the same thing for your video library, you know, you just have one video in there. Um, so that'll show anything from your videos folder here, like that. And then your play queue. So if you have something playing, you could come here and see what's going on, and you could actually, you know, skip around and clear it out. So if, let's say, I don't want to have anything in my uh, play queue. And then playlists are kind of cool. So let's say you want to create a new playlist. So just click on that, give it a name, call this test list. Okay, that's created, so what you could do there is you could add it to other playlists or actually add it to a play queue or to another playlist and so on. And then to add stuff to it, you go back to your music. Let's go to the songs here. We could click on a few of them here. And then we could add to our test list. So that's our playlist. So now when we go back to playlists, here's our test list, and it has these three songs here. And you'll also notice if you go back to your music folder, your default music folder, you have a playlist and it puts it in there too. So if you have this closed and you want to go just to your playlist, you could just open that up there and start playing it right away. And then you can go back home and do what you got to do. So settings, there's not a lot, just, you know, if you want to add some folders for your music or video libraries or change the, you know, the way it looks, you could do that. So there might be some more stuff in here later once they finalize it. Then you have your volume and your full screen and your mini mode. And then this is kind of cool. It has a built-in equalizer where you could, while you're playing, you could uh, use the presets or you could actually adjust some of the levels here and adjust that. Cast a device. If you have another device, you could send that to. Change the speed if you want to play something faster or slower. If you want to go back, you know, this back and forward is probably better for videos than songs. You know, if you want to go back uh, 
10 seconds or forward 30 seconds. And I think that's about it. So playlist, you could right click on it, rename it, delete it. Like I said, add it to a queue. And then, like I said, you have your queue here going. So there's the queue for my playlist. So even if you have a, queue, a bunch of queued songs here, and you say, oh, I like the, you know, the way these all work together, you could save these queued songs as a playlist itself. So yeah, I think that's about it. You know, pretty simple. So I haven't, I was going to see if there's a way you could like burn and rip CDs from here, but I don't see how you could do that. So who knows if that's going to be in the uh, final release or not. So only time will tell. But for now, so if you're playing around with the Windows 11 uh, Insider program using the uh, dev built and dev builds, then you, then you might get this pretty soon. I had to do a little tweaking, like I said, to get it installed on this VM, which I'm not going to go over because it was kind of complicated. So to get to the uh, Windows Insider Insider program. So then you just choose your settings and I'm on the dev channel. So it's going to be, you know, more unstable releases and that kind of thing, but you're going to get stuff sooner than you would if you're on like the beta channel or release preview channel. So, you know, probably not recommended if this is your main computer, but if you have just like a test computer, then you could, you know, play around with this and, and see, you know, get the stuff first and, you know, play with it before other people get to. Oh, so one other thing I wanted to mention is that the uh, new media player here doesn't seem to play music CDs. So I have a CD here and I couldn't add a track to it. So if I try to open a file and I browse to the CD, it's not finding the files on the CD. It's, you know, it's looking for pretty much any kind of file, you know, AAC, FLAC files, MP4, MP3s, whatever, but it doesn't have the uh, CDA files, which are on the CD. So if I double click a track off the CD in the drive here, it'll play that using the old Windows Media Player, but not the new one. So I don't know if that's something I'm just missing here, or, or if it's not going to be supported, but you know, I guess who uses CDs anymore, but if you do, then this might be a uh, deal breaker for you, but I guess if they keep the uh, old Windows Media Player, you could still use that, but I also heard this is going to replace uh, Groove Music in Windows, so this might be the new thing, so if you're a, a Groove Music user and you uh, like that, you might be uh, upset if this replaces it. Anyway, so we'll uh, you know check out the uh, final one when it comes out since it's just since it's just a preview so if there's something new and improved maybe we'll do another video for it all right thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe